certainly not. We cannot cut funding and deliver the same services. And it's vitally important now, especially when times are uncertain, that people can count on their government services. Absolutely not. If you cut staff, you cut services. These are essential services in, in a state like Queensland, which is growing dramatically every week and every year. We need to make sure that we maintain the appropriate standard and quality of public service in our community to make sure that those essential services are provided for the good of everyone in Queensland. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, do you believe funding for government agencies should be cut, and if so, by how much? Well, I think the, the commitment to uh, the, the uh, Bly government has to uh, government services now is the, is, the, is the best way to go forward. I'm appalled by the concept that uh, uh, some candidates have in this current election where they think that uh, funding should be cut to government agencies across the board by a figure of 3%. Um, I, I know how important uh, uh, state government agencies are. Uh, and the services they deliver right across the length and breadth of the state, and indeed in my electorate of Stafford. Um, a cut in services, a cut in funding, would mean a cut in services. No, I do not believe that funding for government agencies should be cut. I think that it's very important that agencies are funded to be able to provide the services that they're required to do, and that's, you know, health and education and police and roads and so on and so forth. Absolutely, I do not believe that they should be cut. I think that it's very important that we have the doctors and nurses and teachers and those on the front line and I think it's very important that we have the people behind them to support them. Yes, I absolutely do support collective bargaining. I think that it's the most effective way for all members of a workforce to be able to have a fair say in the kind of conditions that they receive. No, I don't believe funding for government agencies should be cut. It's impossible for the public sector to provide those vital, valuable services with any significant cut to their funding. I'm absolutely committed to maintaining the current system of our union collective agreements for workers. Again, I just think that it is just uh, an amazing proposition that anybody in this environment would be doing anything other than protecting and creating jobs, and in particular for government services which are at the very front line of caring for Queenslanders. I know, in fact we think critical government agencies such as the Environment Protection Agency should be strengthened. We'd like that one to become Environment Protection Authority with powers to prosecute. And we very much believe that <coughs> government agencies have an important role to play and we do not support cuts. Oh no, and we would also further like uh, staffing government agencies to be as far as possible on a permanent rather than a contract or part-time basis. <laughs>